What is up? It's D Banks. Welcome to the Dama Dojo, episode number one. Y'all already know what time it is. Brand new YouTube channel, 2020. God help God me. Help me. Help. You're here to talk about Kendamas. I literally just started playing Kendama about two months ago. Uh, I had never seen one before. Shout out to Adam22, No Jumper. That was the first place I had seen a Kendama. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, man, this wooden toy has taken over my life. I probably spend two and a half, three hours a day playing Kendama. Uh, I think about it a lot. I'm trying to spread some of that Kendama love with y'all. So this channel is uh, hopefully going to have some interesting content for you guys. We're going to talk about the history of Kendama, the history of some of the uh, awesome Kendama tricks that you see around the internet. We'll do some reaction videos. So we watch some other folks do some crazy ass tricks that you probably won't see me do because I I'm a noob. Uh, but y'all will be able to learn with me if you're just getting started with Kendama uh, and if you're a pro Hopefully I can keep you entertained with some of the stuff that's popping off on this channel Either way, we're gonna jump right in today. We're gonna talk about should you buy a natty or natural Kendama or a painted Kendama? Uh, this was a question that I had when I first got started and it was hard for me to understand the difference and uh, Hopefully I'll be able to help y'all figure out what the difference is today. So let's jump right in Dama Dojo episode one Let's go All right, so the first thing you need to know is that natty means natural. So that's a kendama that has no paint. So if you watch uh, probably like 80% of the videos that I see professional kendama players uh, doing tricks in, they tend to have painted kendamas and uh, hopefully you'll see why. Some people prefer to use natural kendamas or natty kendamas. I recently picked up a natty kendama and started playing with one and I think I'm starting to prefer that. Hopefully I'll be able to explain why that's the case. As mentioned, I just started playing kendama about two months ago and so when I picked up my first kendama, I bought one on Amazon not knowing anything about kendama brands or kendama paints or different types of kendamas or anything like that. This is the kendama I purchased on Amazon. This uh, I guess is a KK kendama, pretty standard. I think it was like $12. As you can see, there's no paint on the tama here or the ball portion of the kendama. So what does that mean, right? So when you're trying to do kendama tricks, some of the tricks are going to involve balancing the ken on the tama in different ways. So for example, this trick here is called a lighthouse where the tama uh, sits underneath the ken and you balance it. And if you look at it this way, it kind of looks like a lighthouse. As you can see, I'm already having trouble keeping the balance of this lighthouse uh, on top of the tama. And that is because it's just wood on wood. There's nothing to grip here. There's not really any grain. We're not dealing with uh, any paint that's gonna be able to make this thing stick. And that's the concept uh, for new players that helps them to land tricks like a lighthouse is that stickiness of the paint. What happened to me was I was trying to figure out how to do tricks like Lighthouse and I could not understand for the life of me how other people were doing that. So I Googled, you know, different types of Kendama, sticky Kendama maybe, is that what they're using? And sure enough, some results started to come up. So the first thing I did was I went out and bought a sort of lower level uh, or entry level sticky Kendama. So let's take a look at that one. What I picked up was a Sweets Prime Kendama. So Sweets is a fantastic Kendama company. They make excellent entry level Kendamas. And as you can see right off the bat, this one has a styled uh, painted Tama or ball portion of um, Kendama. And so what that means is, let's say we stick another lighthouse on here. You can see that I've got a little bit of wiggle room. I can move this around some. It's got, it's much, it's easier to balance than the natty kendama. And so that was when I realized maybe sticky kendamas are what I need as a new player to help me level up. And I definitely think that was the case. Okay, we have a sticky kendama, we have a painted kendama, if you will. What types of paint are there? Because there are different types of paint and they all feel a little bit different. So let's run through some of those paints. Uh, again, this Sweets Prime Kendama, they call this their uh, sticky clear coat, right? So that is just one of the paints that uh, Sweets Kendama offers. They also offer, uh, they offer a slew of other types of paint, but uh, a sticky clear is going to be on your entry level Sweets Kendama. And I think this is a fantastic paint. If I had to like do a scale of one to five, I would say we're going to be talking about uh, a stickiness factor of definitely five, like right out of the box. This thing is gonna stick nice. You're gonna be able to do all kinds of interesting stuff with this. Uh, that was <laughs> that was just silly balance on my part. I'm a noob. Yeah, but yeah, as you can see, like lunars are gonna balance pretty nice. You don't have to do too much. Lighthouses, as we saw earlier, are gonna stick pretty nice. So I would definitely give this uh, a stickiness factor of five 
right out of the box. If we had to talk about like, oh my God, my dog just busted my door down. <laughs> if we're talking durability, so, um, and, that, and that basically means like for a given paint, how long is it gonna last as I play with it? Because they do break down. You probably can't see really well uh, with the light on this one, but it, it's a little bit broken down. It's a little worn out. And that does different things to different paints over time. Some of them break in to become a little more sticky, they feel like, and some of them break in to be even more slick than they were before, which can, which can be a little weird. This particular paint, I think, held up pretty well. I would probably give it uh, a four on the stickiness scale. Uh, as for the feel, just like the way it feels in your hand, it is very sticky. It's very easy to, to keep grab, uh, you know, keep a hold of it. And uh, some some paints don't really feel like that. Some paints will be uh, more slick and again hard. Just they'll feel weird in your hand as you start to you know sweat a little bit. You're playing, you're session out your dama. It, it might get a little slick in your hand. So uh, so that's going to be the Sweets Prime Sticky Clear Coat. Uh, I think this is like the best entry level sticky paint you can get. In fact, they now have like the Prime. Uh, boost and that is a phenomenal kendama with great paint if you're brand new and you're starting to you you know you want to get a sticky kendama that's going to help you lay some of those dope tricks uh definitely check out sweets all right so the next kendama we're going to take a look at is the soul pioneer kendama now this is uh, a little more expensive than a the sweets kendama that we looked at and this paint is Phenomenal. So this, uh, I couldn't find a name for the, the paint that they were using on this from Soul Kendamas, but uh, it feels really great. It's super sticky. Uh, the balance for Lunars and for Lighthouses and stuff is just out of this world. It's super easy. Uh, they're super easy to stick and to hang on to. And uh, yeah, so if I was going to rate this one on a 1 to 5, I would say that this is definitely a five stickiness out of the box. So if you can afford uh, a Soul Pioneer, or if you can find one because they're sold out right now, um, this is another fantastic Kendama. Now for the Soul Pioneer, if we're talking durability, this is gonna be about a three. And the reason I say that is because these spikes actually come pre-glued. And we haven't talked about glued spikes. Obviously, this is the first video. We'll talk about them in another video. But basically, that makes your spike harder. And so as your Tama, as you're playing, your Tama hits your spike, you're gonna get all kinds of craters uh, and all kinds of dents in your Tama. And there, that's a trade-off because if you don't glue the tip, then you know you're, it'll get all flat. And anyway, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, so durability-wise, this is gonna be, I think, about a three. But the paint itself is fantastic. And I would say the feel uh, the way it feels in your hand as you play with it is also uh, a five. It's just, it feels really good. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't get super slippery as you start to sweat a little bit when you're playing. So that's the Soul Pioneer. Uh, shout out Soul Kendama. This is a fantastic Kendama. Great paint for a beginner. Super sticky. All right. This is the Chrome College. And this is going to be the Chrome LOL Sticky Paint. Uh, another, I would say, mid-level Kendama. Not necessarily entry level. This one probably runs about 40 bucks. Uh, but the paint is, is is excellent. When I do play with the painted kendama, this is the one that I play with. And uh, I'm, this one is fours probably across the board. So four for stickiness. It can be sticky, but as you perspire, it can be a little slippery as well. It's a really interesting play because I think it's somewhere right in between sticky and slippery. And I think that's okay. Like I, that That's kind of the way that I like to play it. You know, it... it this, this Kendama, I think, helped me level up to start to be able to play on a Natty Kendama, even though it is painted. It is a little slick uh, at times, so I think this helped me level up a bit. And I think if you're an intermediate Kendama player and you can go pick up a Chrome College, these tend to be in stock. Uh, last time I checked, I think they run about 40 bucks. Shout out to Chrome. Uh, fantastic company as well. Fantastic paint. Great Kendama. Uh, as mentioned, this is like my one of my play every day Kendamas. I really like this paint. Again, that's the LOL um, uh, LOL sticky paint I think is what it's called from chrome and it's great paint uh, so you can find that on uh, several of their uh, kendamas and yeah it's it's gonna be a good snag no matter what these these are dope they lace so uh, cool let's get into some that aren't so sticky right so I think right in between you know we were just talking about being right in between sticky and grippy uh, sticky and slippery I think this one falls squarely into that category this is the chrome pop uh, this is my son's Kendama. He's three years old, uh, so he's not out here trying to do lighthouses and stuff. But I do mess with this Kendama sometimes, and this one is interesting. This is, uh, again, this is a chrome Kendama, and this is their rubber paint, I believe. And you can, you can tell the difference between the other 
uh, paints right away. This one feels a little more, I guess, grainy or rubbery, right? It's rubber paint, so it's gonna feel sort of like rubber. And it's sticky in its own way. Uh, you know, I can balance this lighthouse out pretty well. Uh, but it just doesn't feel like the other paints. It's a little bit slicker, I think. For me, this one's hard to play. So some people rave about the Chrome Pop and uh, they play them super well. I've seen videos of people doing tricks that I can't even do with my favorite Kendamas. Uh, so, you know, I, this one I would put right in between. I would give this one uh, a three on stickiness, probably, uh, you know, a four on durability. My, my son's three, as mentioned, he drags this thing all over the place and it still looks pretty good and it still got its stickiness or tackiness, as some other people might call it. Uh, so yeah, this one is cool. I don't play it personally. But uh, it's right in between stickiness and, and uh, slippery if, if you're looking for that kind of feel on the Kendama. Again, the Chrome Pop, not a bad Kendama. Uh, my son likes it. As mentioned, you have Natty Kendamas. And I recently picked up this uh, fully natural ash, white ash Kendama, white ash wood. And out of the box, this felt amazing. It had this grain to it that was popping out of the wood and it made it really easy to balance lighthouses and to balance lunars and stuff. Uh, so what got interesting though was, you know, maybe a week into playing it, all of that grain went away and then this thing was icy. I couldn't do any tricks like at all. Basically a lighthouse, uh, you know, one turn lighthouses. Uh, I was I'm able to do two turn lighthouses on some of those other kendamas where the kendama will flip twice and then land in a lighthouse. Even one turn lighthouses where it would just come up once and uh, you know, land in the lighthouse. I couldn't do those for a, a while on this after the grain went away. But as I started breaking this kendama in, as I started playing, uh, as my natural, the natural oils of my hand started to get into the kendama, uh, you know, as it fell in the grass and got a little dirty, uh, this it really picked up tackiness. It brought out some of that grain and the stickiness of this kendama is really actually pretty good at this point. And you know. I, for one, like the aesthetics of the natural wood, so this is going to be a higher level Kendama. So I think uh, this one was about $70 or so, and we'll talk about quality control and the price of Kendamas and why they're more expensive or less expensive in another video as well. Uh, but, you know, for 70 bucks and not having paint, you're taking, you're taking a pretty big risk to your play style if you have already been playing with a painted kendama. Uh, but for me, I think it was well worth it. As you break this in, it feels so good and the aesthetics of natural wood to me um, are just awesome. And you know, you have to go through a period of breaking in the natural kendama uh, to, to get it to a point where you're able to play it and it feels, it almost feels sticky, it's crazy. Um, so I'll do some videos on this one and some other natty kendamas as well. Uh, you know, right out of the box and then having played some so you can see the difference. But I'm really enjoying playing with this Natty Kendama and uh, breaking it in to the point where it's able to feel almost like a sticky Kendama. This, this right now is my play every day. This is definitely my favorite Kendama right now. Shout out to uh, Kendama USA, craft brand, craft line, fantastic. There's not much to rate. I would say Durability wise is phenomenal because you don't have to worry about it looking, you know, you don't have to worry about your paint chipping. It's just natural wood. So it looks pretty good and it feels great over time as I played with this. Uh, it feels phenomenal. Um, I would say the stickiness right now. Okay, I'll, I'll rank it. I, I just said I wasn't going to rank it on stickiness because there's no paint, but I'll give it a rank anyway. I'm going to throw this at like a three uh, and getting better with time. I'm pushing it's pushing up toward a four without a doubt. Um, and I'm starting to be able to do all the other tricks I was able to do on painted kendamas with this one. So well worth the time of breaking it in. Cool, so thanks y'all. I guess to wrap that up, I would say if you are just now getting into kendama and you're looking for an entry level sticky kendama with good paint, uh, go with the Sweets, man. The Sweets Prime or the Sweets Boost, which is I think the new model, uh, is gonna be a great choice. You know, you, you really can't go wrong. They are good kendamas, they're gonna last you a while, and they are not very expensive. Uh, if you can afford to level up and go to a Soul kendama, and if they have these in stock, I highly recommend Soul. Uh, this is a, just an excellent kendama, and the paint is out of this world. I, like I said, I couldn't find a name for it, but it's uh, just super good paint, and it feels great. 
super easy to, to land great tricks on it right out of the box. Otherwise, yeah, you know, just do your research. There's, there's some more information on the internet about which paints you might want to choose or, you know, join the dark side. Grab yourself a natty, break it in. It's going to feel amazing. The wood's going to feel amazing. It's going to look amazing. Uh, and it's challenging. I think now that I've used the Natty Kendama for a while, when I go back to using painted Kendamas and just, you know, do a couple tricks here and there, it's like childish. Yeah, the, well, I, you know, it's really, it feels a lot easier to, to do those tricks when I go back to the sticky Kendama. So, you know, pick up a few. Grab a Natty, use that to lace uh, some crazy tricks and level up, and then go back to your sticky Kendama and see how much better you've gotten at balancing those tricks out. All right, y'all, that's it. Thanks for joining me, Dama Dojo, episode number one. We'll be back with some more content for y'all. If you're feeling it, smash that like button, hit subscribe. I'm D Banks, it's been real, peace.